my professional colleagues who have joined this webinar on behalf of bhuj grant of the irc i warmly welcome you in uh, uh, this webinar before starting the session i will request our branch chairman uh, ca jitendra thakkar to deliver welcome speech ca jitendra thakkar <coughs> good evening friends uh, advancement of technology plays a crucial role in the development of economy we can take the constructive use of technology by providing our core service in different part of world today we are going to learn how to effectively provide the outsourcing service by us from the experienced speaker c dawal bhai pon from the rajkot i hope we all will get benefited from this webinar <coughs> registration for the webinar from all over the india reached to to 90 members so far but we can only accommodate to 50 members on the first come to first serve basis as per institute guideline i thank you all the members for overwhelming response and participating participating the webinar i heartily welcome on behalf of the bhuj branch of wrc today speaker sri dhawan bhai pon and i also welcome all member of the bhuj branch and members from the rest of india thank you thank you all now uh, i will give brief introduction of a uh, speaker of today's webinar sri ca dhawal bhai pon ca dawal bhai pon is a fca disa cfe usa and certified fafd course of icai a practicing chartered accountant apart from engaging engaging in banking and forensic audit in a traditional ca practice providing services to us clients remotely mainly in area of bookkeeping excel automation excel tools for business processing and complex excel models involving excel vba and business consulting also a certified quickbook online advanced pro advisor and help small and medium us businessmen in achieving automation in bookkeeping in quickbooks online with third party apps extensively worked with san francisco based the startup own plan in their product development phase likes experimenting and adapting new technology to achieve productivity in execution of all professional tasks he has delivered cpe lectures on excel as forensic tool and practice management for cs at ahmedabad icai and taken lecture as fafd faculty and advanced itt faculty at surat and rajkot ci with brief introduction of uh, today's speaker i will request sri dhawal bhai to take charge of this session sri dhawal bhai yes uh, thank you thank you very much for the introduction also first of all i would like to thank uh, c jitendra bhai the chairman of bhuj branch who have taken you know tremendous efforts in organizing uh, you know planning this event and uh, yeah and all the managing committees as well uh, you know they spend so much time for uh, the community the icai community uh, at various levels like uh, you know so thank thank you all of the phuj branch managing committee and uh, also thank you the attendees from all over uh, the phuj city as well as the uh, other cities you know thank you for sp uh, you know spending some time and uh, joining this session uh today you know uh, friends i am going to share only my experiences and uh, nothing is you know like uh, theoretical we are going to discuss but all the practical uh, experiences i have during my journey uh, in this field uh, of outsourcing practice uh, so we will start with uh, you know why we should move to this uh, outsourcing practice from the our traditional practice then we will see what are the myths generally we have Uh, which you know 
makes us not to jump onto this area of practice and then we will see what is the skill alignments that must be you know taken from your side before you start delivering services and then we will see where you can start okay. getting assignments uh, how you can ensure that uh, the clients are happy from your services how to deliver services in in this area and then we will see uh, the next steps like beyond uh, the first few you know clients you might have and then we will see the how kpos work you know and how to upscale your business outsourcing business to that level so uh, it's all based on the experiences which i have which i am going to share today in this webinar okay so let us start with uh, the reasons why you should diversify from your ca practice traditionally or even if you are in a job right so the first is the fees we charge on on traditional practice is per assignment basis means you will charge the client uh, for one written filing in gst or income tax right no matter how, how much time it may, might take like if there is some difficulties in uh, rendering services like the website of the income tax or gst is not working the dsc is not working the java version is not uh, you know uh, not updated or something like that you cannot ask client that uh, i i spend double the time uh, that would taken uh, for filing this data so that is the most uh, disadvantageous thing in a uh, current ca practice we might face the level of fees compared to efforts in compliance we all know how much efforts we you know um, do in traditional ca practice like i see uh, my community members uh, like spending uh, nights uh, during the deadlines and the reason might be the client have not given the uh, data on the time so all of these are we are facing right now in ca practice traditionally right i'm not saying the ca practice traditionally is wrong but i'm just uh, opening your eyes you know as we are discussing uh, this area so we should discuss the current state first right and also like uh, due to this corona we have uh, you know have like we have taken the pause and we have opportunity to discuss the new avenues and uh, it's good that ICI has organized webinars across all these topics during these last two months and it's a good time that we uh, check our you know current state of practice so again the third aspect is a constant change in laws like uh, when i did see it was indirect tax was totally different and if i see it now it, it is totally different you know so you have to keep updated and educated your client uh, over phone and email without charging fees like there is some change in law the client will you know uh, without schedule call they might call you and you will have to answer those calls without charging any fees for the same also there is limited upsell of services if you are you know giving uh, filing returns of gst income tax to one client you need to upsell upsell means when you try to say i can give you business consulting i can uh, build business automation in your uh, business or i can add some value to your business and uh, the, re uh, no, the reply from the client might be that we are not you know we are not interested in those kind of services because the culture is not there the market is not there you know the client is not educated they don't need our services as a ca other than just written filing so that is the uh, one of the major disadvantage even if you are skilled in those areas the client is not ready to take this the services right uh, if anyone can uh, you know uh, uh, confirm that i am audible or not like if there is any problem in uh, listening or anything no no you are audible yet. okay okay thank you so you know one of the story i would like to share uh, from my initial years of practice like i have one assignment for private limited incorporation and uh, the client was totally uneducated and like it took one month of time like a regular visit to my office and all 
and uh, the company was from the trademarks and all the uh, services are done and then i told that now you have to do more yearly compliances and the answer is you know we don't have to do those uh, because we are from political background and we don't need those services so even compliance services to agree client in in that time 2012 was hard you know so you cannot upsell your services even the compliance is part like client is not uh, willing to do all all of them timely manner right uh, next see our core skills of as a ca might not be utilized in traditional practice and there is no scope of skill upgrades and like the world is going in artificial intelligence blockchain technology and what not big data is coming into play but at at local level like if i give the example of buj uh, there might be uh, no company which might have big data in their business so how you can you know you uh, upgrade your skill because the skills is not required at your uh, city level so we have to think beyond boundaries you know and the time is now so the last is you know uh, as you might have experience as the number of ca firms are you know increasing uh the empanel work we cannot rely on empanel work uh, it is coming less and less and the regulatory requirements is also changing and like banking audits are like concurrent audits are you know less allocated to uh, external auditors and many other things you know we have competition from non qualified consultant as well in written filing and stuff and there are many others you know you can keep on listing those but those are few which i would like to highlight to you just as an eye opener you know uh next uh, we will see some survey reports which says like what is the future of uh, we can say freelancing outsourcing whatever we name it right so let us see some reports here also friends uh, no need to you know uh, write down anything on your part i have you know said this pdf with all the details uh, to buj ica already they will be spreading the mail so no need to write anything or stuff all the links will be provided so this is the forbes article which uh, is a survey the freelancing continues to grow at current level the majority of us workers will be freelancing by 2027 according to projections in the freelancing in america survey released today right uh, some you know agency and some uh, platform freelancing platform we are going to discuss them in detail but you can read all the other findings uh, in the letter at your end uh, another study is eye opener you know why i am sharing this is you might be missing something at your end for the lack of knowledge so i am just uh, you know trying to give you all the details uh, Uh, so you don't miss the you know uh, advantage of first movers uh the second is you know like the again eye opener is 23% of indian freelancers earn up to 60 lakhs per annum as per paypal report they have surveyed 500 freelancers who are taking payments from paypal and this is the findings you know again and you can see the uh, accounting is one of the skills uh, for which freelancers are earning this revenue the same is uh, like the third report uh, which has average uh, earnings per uh, from people study only so you can read those and you know enlight- enlighten yourself about the opportunities you might be missing from these countries you know and uh, see one more thing we will going to cover is you know uh, when i say outsourcing we are not going to um, like we always have something in mind that whole search we are going to cover in the next uh, slide and that is you know like we are not kpos uh, we cannot uh, have outsourcing clients but friends what we are discussing here is small and bit medium businesses who are who are willing to give work to direct stakeholders like us right so uh, let us see further so these are some surveys you can uh, you know read in detail at your end so now let us co- come to myths about outsourcing services and one of them as i said is capital expenditure like we think that uh, a major infrastructure cost is involved to start but that is not true we will cover uh, like how to start and stuff but 
like one one another example i would like to give is you know uh, there are many myths about the outsourcing service like uh, one of the young cs from uh, my city only who has uh, you know taken training itt advanced itt training under me has come to my office one day saying sir uh, i have developed the website uh, done the logo done the trademark uh and many other stuffs you know and now i'm ready to take outsourcing practices so what basically he has done is you know instead of some uh, kpo they have the website so okay i have the website they have the logo so okay i have the logo they have the private limited registration i have the private limited registration but that is not true that is just external uh, you know things you are seeing and implementing the major uh, you know impact will be of the inner things how they uh, market themselves how they uh, work uh, with the client within the team they, uh, that is the thing you must know so all this uh, you know uh, initial expenditure is not at all needed also we think the efforts and time to set up might be tremendous like it might take 10 years 5 years to uh, you know get clients good amount of clients and start in this field but that is also not true we will cover it one by one also uh, some like uh, as, uh, as as we speak about freelancing platforms the uh, you know uh, being a ca we are so much concerned about ethical uh, professional ethics all the times but uh, i would say you know uh, i would not uh, um, you know talk much about this at this platform but you all know how to uh, set up these things and if you need any guidance on one to one basis you can always mail me or whatsapp me i will be sharing my details and i will guide you in how to structure this thing also you might think the you know uh, the skills uh, needed for starting this practice you cannot uh, you know acquire or you don't don't have that like the taxation of foreign countries and stuff but the fact is friends we are targeting small and medium uh, businesses in usa australia and europe and most of them i have observed is service providers you know they are doing some type of consultancy basically and indirect taxes is not applicable and as far as income tax over there is concerned they are hiring cps for that at the year end is just what i'm trying to start is you know bookkeeping business uh, as a starter no doubt we will cover other stuff as well but to start a bookkeeping kpo you don't need a lot of stuff of the countries you are uh, doing services for now another problem uh, we might have is the language you know see i am doing this since 2012 and you can see from my uh, language that i am not so much proficient in english but friends uh, visualize this thing if a us citizen comes to agra to see taj mahal and he is going to some vendor he will speak his basic english skills because he wants some stuffs to buy or some uh, stuff you know like some services like maybe food or something the same goes for our services they will not you know um, they will not test us only on the language part because they want their work done at one tenth of the cost which they might incur in their countries so friends language is not a hurdle that much what you think if you have the basic you know english skills that will be sufficient you know uh, and the last is the recession and impact of outsourcing services like the recession like uh, what we fear now covid 19 so it is not true because see uh, whenever recession comes the countries like if i give example of 2008 i am taking this business since 2007 when i was in article ship uh you know in 2008 it field, it sector in india at that time was the most benefited after the recession and the reason is they are uh, us businesses you know try to cut their expenses on it development and they outsource all these activities to india not only uh, you know b2b means kpos like infosys and all but also uh, small and medium uh, you know service providers uh, and from the small and medium businesses across usa right so that is not true and uh, you know now nowadays we have online accounting softwares like quickbooks and stuff so it is very easy and uh, you know accounting is one of the area which is developing in the outsourcing sector we will see other stuff as well other facts and stuff in the in the next slides so let us go to the skill alignment see friends 
whenever you want to start something new uh, as a skill be it anything you know in last 10 years i have learned so much of the non cs skills you can say like the wordpress for my blog or you can say video creation for youtube or you can say outsourcing practice for example or microsoft excel or even productivity tools nowadays i am learning and now the data analytics there is one blueprint i am following to uh, you know create the skills within shortest period of time like say couple of months i know you know in and out about that skill so you can also follow this a uh, particular uh, you know set of rules uh, to learn any new area be it outsourcing practice be it uh, accounting in quickbooks us accounting you name it so what are the components you can uh, you know uh, you can learn from any skills the regulator uh there might be some uh, you know regulator in that field for example us bookkeeping then ai cpa the cpa uh, you know just like ica they are uh, ai cpa so the we are i'm not saying to give the cpa exam but the material the guidance on that is free of course available right so you can go through that the enablers when i say enablers uh uh i'm say, saying about the quickbooks quickbooks is an enabler right is the accounting uh software online accounting software which enables uh, accounting in usa right and there are many others but if you connect with these enablers you will have you know all the resources required for bookkeeping business so we will see uh, quickbooks uh, enabler but i'm just naming it you can apply it any skill area you know i'm just uh, generalizing so you have to visit their website what are the services they have uh, for accountants uh, you can browse those uh, another important which i always do like when i started uh, you know outsourcing the community or forum uh, in every area there are you know very active community or forum which you can regularly participate you will see what other uh, you know other uh, 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 stakeholders have problems how they are solving it and you can also participate in if you are a subject matter expert like for example excel microsoft community is the most active community where you can uh, you know e- even if you don't have a work in excel you can try to solve problems of others right so uh, it works both ways if you are a knowledge uh, you know if you want to gain knowledge or if you want to impart knowledge in both ways if you uh, participate in active communities in that area it will be helpful you can read books well known books like uh, or you can have amazon kindle you know uh, online edition and uh, read those books etc uh, there are youtube courses uh, youtube videos and uh, you know udemy courses coursera courses on most all the skill areas then there are some useful website which uh, impart so much knowledge for example wordpress when i was trying to learn wordpress on my own i used to visit one website called wp beginner and it has so much awesome blog articles that i learned wordpress from them only for example in excel we have chandu.org right chandu.org so these are website we uh, which are you know imparting knowledge free of cost so in that area you can find some website uh, you can uh, you know subscribe to their newsletter so you get latest updates so you have to be relevant you know all the ecosystem if you connect you will be having all the resources for starting the services in that skills you can also join some facebook or linkedin groups and the last is support see every like uh, for example uh, whatever freelancing platform i am going to suggest if you have any question you can always ask the support you know if you are facing any problem so everywhere there will be support and you can ask any questions to them directly and also you know um, like what i do is uh, study the competitor website what they are doing how they are doing uh when i meet uh, conferences in in conferences i meet the employees of the competitors you can learn from them you can interact with them so these are the things from where you can uh, you know learn a new skill anything you know it can be accounting outsourcing quickbooks excel etc so we will see now the examples of this uh, thing
so if when we see uh, accounting practice in outsourcing field we have three to four major players uh, in accounting softwares uh, myobi zero and quickbooks so if you visit their website and if you see uh, at the top or at the bottom you will find four accountants four bookkeepers and if you visit there you will find there are free of cost you know pro advisor program that is the training provided by them in this softwares free of cost and also the certification is given right so you can browse those website and you will learn a lot of stuff you can participate in their community you can ask support from them right so that is the way you can learn the thing you can join the groups of quick books and stuff so you can implement whatever discussed here in this three or you can start with one say for example quick books which is the leading platform in usa so you can start with one and then go on to others right and see uh, the three examples i have given for you so let us visit those see i'm just giving you some examples here like cpa academy and there are archived webinars just like we have webinars over here from icai which are very knowledgeable in traditional practice areas so if you see some of the webinars which are very much valuable see five main variables when uh, valuing a cpa practice for external and internal sales how to hire onboard and try with remote accountants managing your practice in the cloud with zero see all these recent webinars if you see like june one the yesterday only you will have a lot of information you know you name it so if you connect with this stuffs uh, you know i'm just giving you now some examples you can find more of them but if you connect you will you know start learning things like this is from intuit quickbooks uh, you know a resource center free of cost again and you can see like if you are, there are relief funding currently available from the us government right federal uh, relief funding so the discussion on that is given here so if some job comes up you know the you know in and out about what is going on over there so these are some of the thing the webinars are there right uh, the third example is this again intuit uh, quickbooks website form of the future where a lot of important information is given you know see they are giving this paycheck protection program loan like this loan is available some percentage might must be used for you know salaries only so if you know the you uh, know some knowledge about all these stuff which are going on you will be better positioned to give the services this is just the example i have given you see now see there are two type of services uh, you can build in outsourcing practice one is if you are interested in accounting which you can take assignments and delegate to your staff right or if you are uh, young and you want to have cutting edge skills like excel or uh, crm I, I will cover each of these or data analytics so i have given some resources and you can you know see uh, there are two types of uh, approach here one is if you uh, want to have a multi you know staff team under you and earn at 10 dollars per hour for basic accounting skills or you can charge 100 dollars per hour with your cutting edge skills in maybe advanced excel vba data analytics and stuff so i would like to give one of the example you know like last weekend only i have developed one solution for client and let us see just for understanding what is it you know okay so one of the client in us has asked me to develop this system and what it is basically is you know i will just give you a brief about it and here it is uh, see if someone goes to buying a house in usa they will evaluate you know they have more scientific approach in deciding the everything you know so this is the stuff he has asked me to develop and here's some factors you know master bedroom dining area kitchen living room and that like couple is going for this house evaluation so they will have their own weights weights means 
how much important master bedroom is to Audrey and how much it is to Robert. So they can modify these weights from here. Like master bedroom is important. One, two, three, you know, there are three weight factors, right? So once the user select this, this is a one time activity and they will go to different properties like so, so they are evaluating a property called say for example ABC. This is the live example I'm giving what I have developed for a client, you know, and you can see only blue cell can be selected. No other cells are getting selected, right? And they will evaluate each of this aspect for this ABC property, right? I'm not filling the entire form, but just give you an idea. So they have their comments. They can also insert some image if they want. There are many functions I have, uh, you know, inserted in this, but I will just give you a brief overview, right? So you cannot scroll beyond this. And once you do the filling of all this stuff, you can submit the set. And it will ask you, have you filled up the entire set? Because it cannot be edited, right? It can be only viewed. So I will say yes. And if I go to all properties, there will be a list, you know, the summary of this property with the link at the end, which will bring me to the original thing, right? And if I want to evaluate another property, I can again click here. So there is a, another property I would say PQR. Again, I will do the same stuff. Some some weights I will give. Just dummy numbers I'm entering here. Right. See, now I'm again. not attaching the picture for simplicity now but if i submit it will again ask me i can press yes and if i again go to here there will be see now the thing is i have also given the ranks based on the score so if you uh, uh you know the, the more the score it will be on the top like the rank uh, sequence like they evaluate 100 of these properties they will be record maintained over here so this is the you know automation sheet I have prepared or one calculator you can say prepared for the client right. So this is the service I provide. I'm just going you uh, the overview of, of it and see if you submit without writing anything it will show an error. Property name can't be empty. So there are many checks I have inserted. So I, I developed this system in two days. One day was developing the idea in Excel. A second was testing extensively and uh, you know removing all these errors. A user might uh, corrupt the seat you know uh, like if you have already entered ABC and if you try to enter a new property with ABC it will say the property already exists see this already exists so extensive testing I have done but you will be surprised you know like what I have charged for these services is I will not say the numbers uh, as such but you can say whatever a presser C will earn half in, 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 in a year half of it is charged for these services you know so you can have this thing um, uh, if you are you know inclined to excel and want to give services and the benefits for this is you know it will be equivalent to 10 or 20 persons bookkeeping kpo if you give this one person is uh, delivering this kind of services you know the second is uh sales uh, you know your crm See, we have, when we heard CRM, we think it is only for sales and marketing. But I'm just including this because I have done these services. And uh, I will give you first the you know story what we have done for the client. So there was a law firm in USA who is uh, uh, trying to implement a system uh, with which they can manage their practice, law practice. And uh, they have the reports, various reports like the hearings are coming, some preparation needs to be done for hearing, all this automation needs to be done, right? So I implemented uh, Salesforce with the client and we have done an add-on that is Litify, which was available. But we have created so much uh, reports, you know, like uh, what the lawyers are required to know every everything, you know, like the automation is there. So if you are interested in database administrator, 
salesforce is you know the use cases are so much and uh, startups are using it uh, like uh, anything so if you want to learn those skills you can have the certification from them i will give you an example here okay so see uh, they have many certification salesforce is one of the leading crm zoho is also uh, providing crm and training but we as a ca can uh, serve as salesforce administrator there is database administrator right so they have this training you know and uh, you can take it up it's free of cost you can see See, it's uh, prepare yourself for sales for administrative credential. Although they charge something for exam, but we don't need to give exam. You know, I have also not taken training when I given these services. So this is another example you can uh, you know uh, uh, have training for. Another is uh, vast. I am trying to uh, um, you know get uh, in this area is data analytics. And if you want to learn, uh, there are two websites. Swayam. It is by government and the leading institute are taking the trainings over here. And another is NPTEL, uh, which are by IITs, you know, IIT Kanpur and IIT Kharagpur, all these IITs and one of the IIT, IISC has uh, joined their hands and delivering these courses free of cost. You know, everything I have discussed is free of cost. So you can, uh, like there are all types of courses in data analytics as well. So if you are interested in learning those skills, you can uh, go and learn those. I will not go in detail, but the last part I will discuss is uh, this YouTube channel, which I uh, you know regularly browse and which is you know since 2008 they are uh, this person is publishing videos free of course very advanced Excel learning you know if you want to have these cutting edge skills and uh, he has arranged all these based on various playlists like if you want to learn power query all these videos 169 of them practicals are listed over here free of course data analytics 222 videos and like power bi here it is you name it you know everything is here everything is free of course and all the advanced excel training so you, you have two choices you know you have to decide whether you want to go for uh, a bookkeeping based business or you want to go for uh, this kind of you know cutting edge skills i will not uh, go deep in all this but uh, you know in here also you can expand later on in the taxation side of the business but you can start somewhere you know and then you can expand so you will say you know sir you have told me everything like why we should move on from traditional practice you have told me uh, you know the opportunities the skills how to align the skills to the requirements in the us market but where to start this, uh, you know, where to start getting the clients, first clients. So, you know, friends, uh, in, since 2012, I will share my experience. At that time, it was called Elance. And I have started uh, on this platform getting clients from USA. And we'll see in detail what is, is uh, exactly. But in 2015, there were two leading platforms which are merged into one as Upwork nowadays. And let us see what is exactly up for, you know. See, Upwork, formerly, as I told you, Elance and Odesk is a global freelancing platform. It's a, one of the major, you know, platform where small and medium businesses post their uh, requirements in various fields, including accounting and uh, bookkeeping kind of business, you know, uh, you know, where businesses or individuals connect to conduct business, right, everything. So Upwork has, you know, 12 million registered freelancers and 5 million registered clients and 3 million jobs are posted annually, you know, and the total of the, is uh, 1 billion US dollars. So it is across all the field, you know, the market is very vast, but this is all about it. 
you know now you will say uh, you have many questions i understand regarding upwork but you know we have one inclined that uh, if everyone is doing it uh, we can do it right so let us try to find uh, if there are any chartered accountants who are doing this successfully over here so i will I, this is the client side of upwork you know i am registered as a client as well so i'm just searching it chartered accountants and we will filter this search with location india and we will see some example because you know we are so much uh thinking of process that uh, if everyone is doing that then we have to do it right so i'm just giving you some examples and we can filter this earning as 10 dollars or 10000 dollars at least so you can see these are the list of uh, freelancers who are chartered accountants who are from india and have earned 10000 dollars plus we are seeing this result right so let us see some of the profiles and see what they are doing so i will open only x or uh, no uh, relevant okay this person is kind of bookkeeping and he has done quite well okay see this is the agency and this is the you can have the agency registered as well so i will not open this because this is very higher part of the uh, i will not give you so much you know i will take only the starters see we can open this profile See, uh, there are many like someone is providing service in Excel as, as I told you, someone is in VBA or something, whatever they are uh, modeling or something, you know, but we are taking only examples who are basics, you know, the basic bookkeeping businesses. Just to give you some inspiration, you know. I think that is sufficient. So you can see this is basically a chartered accountant from India only. Jalandhar, you can see, and he has done quite a good of you uh, know on this platform. You can see, and he has 19 jobs in progress. So all these long-term projects which are going on and on, you know, you can see. So what he is doing? Bookkeeping and invoicing for regular part-time work, right? Account reconciliation. All this you can do. Zero Sophify, as I told you account assistant right so all this we are already giving these services to indian clients just it is served here in tele and miracle maybe uh, uh, or many other softwares like over there it is different you have to learn just the software part you know so you can also browse this uh, later on uh, from your side also right So I have taken only the uh, average uh, you know, freelancers. So there are many already started and already doing quite good, you know, and after a few times, like uh, as I did, uh, they take the client off the you know, upwork, they uh, deal directly. Uh, so these are basically the opportunities we might have. And why, like you will, uh, you will you know, wonder like why this person is uh, recommending upwork. I, I'm, I'm talking, I'm going to talk only 15 minutes about it. But the reason is, you know, there are, some policies some systems which make this platform as the best platform and that is the payment protection system uh, your payment will be al always assured uh, the feedback system not only for service provider but also clients you can see the on the completed jobs you can see the you know uh, ratings given by the client to this freelancer if you go to client profile they will also have the uh, feedback from the service providers right so it is the best system you know who, who is genuine who is not genuine right and see uh, like uh, see here you can see uh, 40000 is in one job although the per hour rate was very low but you can see some inspiration you know so the feedback system is there uh, you know uh, also there is if you are right generic uh, profile when creating uh, an account on this platform they will not allow you to sign up 
you have to like if you will write uh, i'm providing services in tele and their artificial intelligence will learn that there is no demand of tele in our platform so this service provider is not required so you have to first align your skills that's a reason why i told you right uh, if you don't get any projects like if you apply for 100 projects and if you don't get any work your profile will be deleted you know this is the policy of Upwork. work so if your services is not required on our platform then you are uh, you are ready to go out you know also there are some policy changes in last year that already uh, i know earlier it used to be like you can apply for 30 projects free of cost but what used to be like there are millions of users who are registered in various fields so what used to happen was you know uh, everyone is using their free connects like in particular one job there will be 50 60 proposals and client will get confused like who is the best out of them or who are the you know few one few uh, among the best so they have this policy that now you have to spend uh, you know, 10 20 rupees per job and what it did you know you know uh, we will see in, in, uh, you will understand from this screenshot which i have taken some time back like in accounting and consulting category there are one like 53000 person all across the globe that are registered over here out of which the earnings like no earnings the person who have not earned a single dollar are one like 40000 so you can see only 13000 has earned some amount dollar one plus earning right you can see here and if you take 10000 plus earning there are only 6000 of them so it's not easy to you know they have success on these platforms so that's the reason why they want to remove the traffic who are irrelevant profiles so the pre connects are now stopped so i have covered this now i will briefly say how to you know succeed in this platform or any other outsourcing channels we are going to discuss in the next few slides right it will equally applicable to any channel you are uh, you know trying out so you know you have to address the client pain points uh, like client has something different to say in job description and you will start and end with something like i have 10 years of experience see everyone has experience but if you understand the job have you have some solutions you can suggest to client this is more essential everyone has some number of experience that don't don't denote that you understand the problem you have the solution so better approach is you know you have something to say to the client now i will give you one example you know in my field only like one of my regular client has one peculiar problem that when he is dealing, dealing in case like he receives some amount in case uh, as part of his business he has very bad habit of not you know accounting for it uh, properly because they are not uh, proper records and we are doing accounting per year basis so what i suggested earlier i found one amazon item amazon.com means us website and there was our you know like case receipt register there are four copies one you give to the giver one you keep and all this stuff he said no but i will not carrying this book everywhere okay so i said okay let us develop something in excel no he said i will not be in front of pc every time i may be having only mobile phones right so now the thing is i started thinking and do some research and find out one good uh, application called app sit a double p sit right and what it does is you know it converts and google spreadsheet if you have table in google spreadsheet it will convert that into an application iphone and android free of cost within two minutes without any coding you just have to you know connect that google sit to that app sit and the thing is done you know they will give you the link to download the application so this is a kind of solution you have to you know what is the pain point of client and the relevant solution you have to develop okay you have to demonstrate your stories you know um, uh, just, you don't just say that i will do i can do this but you have to say based on your experience like how why if you're doing some financial projections why financial projections are important or things to be taken care how the assumptions you make is important uh for cost for revenues like what drives in uh, revenues for one business maybe the advertising cost if it is a startup uh, 
another for another startup is the salesman you know like for services like equaguard what salesmen are there like number of salesmen going home to home so the cost drivers and revenue drivers are different so if you say, say so, such stories the client will better connect with you and will give you the project because you know the stuff right always try to achieve some automation some process improvement to the client there is upsell you know i will give you perfect example of this okay so this is real life examples i am giving so first you need to understand the situation here right see see quickbooks will do accounting no problem on that but this particular client has various properties to be rented to persons who are temporarily visiting that place right so this is basically a rent a property you know rental properties and what have used to happen is you know there are some defense guy who are going to stay like uh, this is a blue sales are inputs just understand the thing you know and uh, he will say okay i am going to stay up from may 18 to october 10 so he will input it over here right and receipt is something i will give you explanation later on but just understand other parts and uh, these are the per day rent and stuff we can input right so as soon as you input this what automation i was given first is you know it will give the breakups of month one will be from 18th may like 18th may right and the month one will end on the first uh, like first month and that is 31st may the next month will uh, start from 6th may to uh, june end right likewise up to 10th so all the number of days what will be the rent everything is automated here right so this is the thing right uh, and if you change it for example we will make it august so automatically you can see the number of days now is reduced the october months are gone only up to august it is giving the days rents etc right so this is the automation i have developed with some simple formulas you know if for nested if formulas very easy so how much value it create you know like you can change the date as well accordingly change right what other thing like it will generate the contract like this is the part of the contract and it will have the rent amounts for month 1 month 3 month 4 etc from this calculator itself so contract is ready automatically not only that i have deleted the logos and part but you can see this is the rental receipt and the first month rent with that is coming over here so if you change the starting date for example say the person is coming from march so first period will be 18 march to end of march so you can see it is automatically changing over here see right so now there is something called rewards like whatever they charge they give back something in rewards points or something right the 1450 per month the person is receiving so i don't only calculate the months uh, rents to be charged but also reward points based on the input right and the reward form for that like whatever uh, reward points you have earned how you want to redeem it so you just have to put tick one of them and get it signed right so everything is automated now right so now uh, there is something called reset days as i told you ignore this but what is this is if the client goes out if the guest goes out for say for example one week in between so we are not going to charge for that one week so any random number for example let's say 6th june he is going out during this period for 10 days he is going out so we are not going to charge for that right so if you see in the calendar now you can say there are all dates from march to august as i told you but for june you can see there are uh, you know now it's in the first part before he goes away the reset starts up to 5th june see the reset is start in june 6 so now my charge will be for only this period and after he comes back for the remaining part right the stay part b now comes into play but everything is automated you see that so rent to be charged 
is also like part b now comes into play and the receipt will be generated automatically for this if you see 4b if you see 4b rent receipt you can see the remaining part of the that particular month is charged and the rent receipt is already created just the quickbooks entry now has to be passed this needs to be printed and given to the guest so always try to achieve some automation some process improvements you know uh, avoid quoting irrelevant experience <laughs> see basically everyone does this is they will say when submitting proposal they will say you know i am the 10 years of experience doing some accounting in tele miracle but now see the job you are applying on quickbooks so you create some stories around it that you are pro advisor you are active in uh, you know uh, in a community or forum for quickbooks and uh, you can solve the problem there are third party apps with quickbooks you know uh, now always think about the solutions because this is very challenging you know it's not like india like uh, they don't have any options uh, they will have a lot of options across the globe and they will go with the best so uh, quote relevant experience only and submit proposals only on projects you can really perform although there will be on the job training no doubt about it but if it is totally out of your area don't go for it you know so like for example i will give you example as well like uh, i can connect a third party app which is importing transactions to quickbooks easily but i cannot develop an app itself so don't quote you know don't provide proposals for work that cannot be learned in one year also if it is simple you can learn it you know excel it happens like always we are learning something or another so this is the right strategy to succeed in procuring work on outsourcing channels right now once you procure work how to make sure that uh, the delivery is good uh, the client is turn into long term client he will give you good reviews so you know don't hesitate to ask question when the job is started you might have many questions so don't hesitate you know ask straight away that i don't know i know i need to know these uh, answers you know feel free to take time understanding you know see when you start a new job try to understand the business the process the softwares they use if i give you an example when i started hedge fund you know uh, accounting for one of the hedge fund i spent one month in learning their software because i was trained as my post qualification experience in mumbai in geneva software for fund accounting and they were using something else so i spent one month in learning i will not commit that i will uh, start straight away i need to learn so you can you can always say i need time to learn you know so you understand that uh, give regular updates that is very important say for example uh, you know you have promised that the delivery will be within 2 days in indian i mean business scenario what we used to do is you know until the client calls us we are we are relaxed that we can do other things which are urgent we can wait for client to follow up but here it is different you know the foreign clients needs more clarity they needs to ensure that the work is going on although the progress might not be as promised but if you give updates you know that today i not cannot do work but i will i will finish it tomorrow that will nice to know you know that at least they know that tomorrow will be work done or there will be another update that is key to success here right always obtain testimonials from client be it on upwork be it on linkedin or you can ask for video testimonials right i used to do it a lot it helps in acquiring future clients now uh, you will say uh, i want to explore more you know so linkedin is the place uh, again uh, see i will share two of my success story with both these platforms but again see you need to have the right approach that is key to success right uh, just like upwork everyone say linkedin is not platform where you have professional opportunities but you don't have the right approach friend if you keep on saying about yourself how you have achieved so much thing no one is going to listen you you have to understand the client's point of view so i will give you one example you know i just experimented for a little less than a month on linkedin 
on this strategy like there was one startup in uae uh, which was basically you know table reservation system uh, over there uh, they don't go to the hotels or restaurants straight away they will first book their tables through this app and uh, they are providing other services as well to restaurants right uh, so uh, one of the thing like i started following them and one of the thing i observed was they were writing good blog articles for uh, restaurants you know because their main clients were restaurants so they would write, uh, you know used to uh, write blogs like uh, how to create menu how to design menu uh, what are the softwares for that although there are not their services but they are enablers remember enablers so they will give all these resources and by that they will attract their you know restaurants to take their services so uh, at the time wait was uh, you know going to um, implemented in ua fewers big so i wrote one nice article how will it impact on the restaurant business and i just submitted it in over linkedin to them and you know they instantly the founder instantly um, uh, seen that and uh, it was nice article they published it on their blog so if you search like ue wait uh, restaurant business you will find that article of mine before implementing a wait at that time right so later what happens you know like we uh, started talking and i came to know that they are providing services in you know they are doing accounting in um, quick books and one of the pain points he was uh, said me that the recoveries you know like the uh, receivables are not getting recovered on time so i just ask one question that how you are you know billing those um, restaurants like uh, they, he said quarterly okay how much time it takes to send the invoice after quarter he said one month i said with third party app automation if you implement you know all these have some third party apps you will learn if you research it you can do it only the second day you know after the quarter ends you can send out uh, this uh, invoices to restaurants um for that quarter within one day and then we started the engagement so that is how you know things happen you interact you uh, give some values with the right approach and the work will be done you know second is from angel list you know this is the place where startups meet uh founders the team members the you know advisors and uh, you can find the opportunities over there as well so one of the examples is uh, in my introduction you said san francisco based startup mm-hmm. so i will give you the example of that as well so this person is you know uh, what he was trying to create a model or, or website based tool see when we create financial models for projections uh, any for any startup we will do it in excel so he was trying to build a tool web based tool right and uh, what he is trying to achieve is create first the logics in excel and then give it to the developer so that it will convert this solution from excel to web based tool and they will launch it right all the uh, variations of uh, models like there can be like 200 300 possibilities how one prepare financial model so he will build all these libraries and you can plug and play like what is your model like as i told you for startup it can be uh, the revenue can be driven by advertisement cost or the sales person you are hiring right so whatever your uh, scenario is you just plug and play and the financial model will be created but for that first the logic has to be set in excel so he has some rules you know he was testing all the stakeholders through this angel list i come to know about it and he has seven ten uh, test so first seven was very easy the eight was very hard you know i cracked it i, I will tell you how i cracked it but again see you know when comes to excel or anything it's not the functions or keyboard shortcuts that you know will help you but it's the logic as a chartered accountant that you implement you solve the problem right the logic is more important not the keyboard shortcuts or the knowing of only the functions you understand the uh, scenario and you solve it based on your logic we will understand it so just quickly you know this is average self sales price 
So every month there will be some first purchases. You can see the larger amounts, month one. And once someone purchases it, for the six months, there will be some secondary purchases, you know, refills or something like that. And after 18 months, the person will again come, you know, for replacement or something. So this is hard coded figures. For month one, someone comes, gives revenue for six months, again comes from 18 months. Here, month two comes, you know, new clients because of the advertising, they will again spend for six more months. Likewise, right? It is all hard coded, right? So he was trying, so the one condition he has that all these sales should have the same formula, but the result will change like this. This is hard coded currently. I'm just giving you an overview because the web developer has to, he cannot change it when the user is using on the website, the logic live, right? So the logic should be such that it keeps on changing itself. Like uh, instead of six, if I put five, so it will be for only five months or I can put nine. So it will be for nine months. So I can change it here, here and, and the hard coded figure will change. So, you know, I just, I have a one solution that I don't ever try to create the solution all at once. I just concentrate on this part. And if you understand this part, the solution is very easy. You know, I, I used only rows and columns formula. This is the key. I implemented it the logic wise, you know, see in this, if you see closely, what I have done is, you know, you can see the first part is anchored and second part is relative means first part will be as it is and it will auto expand the second part of rows and same here columns, right? So when this rows equals columns means when here the column in this table now number of rows is two columns is also two here the number of uh, column and number of rows are three so whenever this match then only calculate this value easy only the logic you know you understand this that when these rows and columns are matching then only you have to appear this value if you understand this then the second part is very easy this entire solution is here you can see then I just you know, change this uh, rows part, not equal to, but minus. If it is less than six, then only uh, calculate this formula. It's uh, quite uh, you know easy if you understand it, but the logic uh, is only based on this role, rows and columns, you know, calculating rows and columns on a particular point of uh, table and uh, uh, displaying the result, you know, whatever you want it. So this is how, you know, get uh, work from other uh, platforms as well so once you do that uh, you know there are some other places as well I, I will discuss this as well uh, there are every four years a uh, world congress of accountants are held the last time it was in 2018 in sydney now this time we are fortunate enough that ICI is going to hold it in mumbai in 2022 but again as i told you know if you go there and just you know uh, without interacting with anything, without adding any value, without preparing for yourself. If you go there, you will create no value for yourself. You have to be prepared. You know, I will give you one more example, although it's not uh, related to outsourcing as such, but you can relate to it, you know. Uh, so see my speaking journey in ICI started through Ahmedabad because, uh, you know, I uh, joined one course, Forensic FAFD in Ahmedabad in uh, 2017 and uh, you know in a positive way I interacted like I added value means uh, there one part is pro excel so I said uh, you know some excel uh, thing uh, when the topic came so one of the uh, you know, CA or participant co-participant was C. Nero Choksi who um, you know happened to be the managing committee member and only three or four months after he used to be chairman or Ahmedabad ICA, right? So he's seen that uh, this person has something to say, which is different. So the journey started, you know, he given me a uh, opportunity and my, he know that his uh, presentation skill might not be good, but he has something different to say. So it's better to give the opportunity. So he gave me the, this first breakthrough and then things started. So if you go to these conferences, 
you just search uh, in google that how to create value from conferences and you start preparing yourself start getting testimonials from us clients there are like last time there were 5000 accounting firms uh, you know accumulated in sydney there are huge businesses going on you know even if you tie up with one or two cpa firms it will be huge business for you but again as i told you the approach needs to be right second thing is you know recently uh government has set up this uh, service export promotion council that is uh, to you know encourage export of services and they have list of like 12 13 services and accounting is one of them ICA has done MOU with uh, ICPC and they will be you know rolling out the details soon but you can you know have this kind of help uh, from our esteemed organization ICI and uh, this is the another way forward so i have covered the part up to like what is the reasons what are the myths various platforms skill alignment and now let us see what is the number one mistake you know like now everything is about the practice management how you can upscale how kpos do their business you know how you can improve uh, everything is going to be discussed in the rest of the uh seminar so you know what is the problem currently we might have is we have piled piled of work in traditional practice and you will not be able to jump on to this new area because initially it will like be it up work linkedin it will take some amount of your involvement initially right so currently one of the mistakes everyone of us is doing might be doing is allocating 100% of their time in client servicing we just come to our office uh, receive some calls do some mails perform some written filing work all of this every day <laughs> going on and on we don't have 5 years 10 years vision right only client servicing and new clients might come that is okay but we are not doing anything to actively you know getting some new clients so we are just involving client servicing only 100% of the time you can say but what should be the ideal attention allocation for a ca you know uh, so see uh, i would say 50% of only you should you know do client servicing of your time if you are saying uh, 8 to 10 hours of work per day only 50% of which should be client servicing you should uh, plan it accordingly the second 30% should be structuring workflows you know we will cover it what i mean by structure workflows and rest of 20 is learning and teaching we will also cover that what i mean by that and how it will be helpful in you know outsourcing so current our unstructured work, uh, workflow if i discuss so we have all the task from maybe team related maybe a live application from team some client communication any strategic business decision all the marketing emails and newsletter everything is you know landing in a uh, one single undifferentiated inbox everything is coming in one place right and we uh, we do task based on that our work files are getting exchanged in emails you know back and forth with clients and stuff like we don't do that i have everything on uh, dropbox you can see like and every client has that uh, Uh, folders dedicated to them and we work only on that basis like everything is said here so this is some examples you know this is a topic which can run into hours of training but i'm just giving you some problems and some solutions as a part of this webinar right so work files should not never go in emails right there should be some automation or some place you know uh, like dropbox or some your ftp servers or something where you host your file and give it to clients or team now we are dealing you know this is very generic that uh, we communicate with our team and our clients on whatsapp so now remember we have so many groups so you will be uh, again you know, distracted again and again for from whatsapp notifications we have unscheduled meetings and calls from clients i never allow it 
from my clients you know be it a traditional practice or outsourcing practice everything is scheduled calendar driven you know uh, we don't uh, you know we have to train our teams uh, repeatedly on the same task because we don't have any documentation we don't have any process in place we will see what is the solutions but this is the uh, you know examples of unstructured workflow we have and that causes our own entire you know effort in client servicing but you can with structured workflow you can free yourself up right so you know what is the result of this we have don't uh, like we don't have long stretches of attention uh, where we can do uh, creative work right uh, uh, strategic decision to take strategic decisions so how to do structure workflow so first thing you can do is setting up processes like uh, you have like uh, 10 uh, processes generally like for income tax return filing you need uh, you have to follow this process so you can uh, set up the processes you can train the staff you can educate client on scheduled meeting and call you know uh, you have to do it on your side you can create a checklist of stops to do on a particular process uh, you, you can create automated calculator as well you know uh, so i will give you one example again uh, which i have built a residential calculator for one of the leading ca firms okay and what is the benefit we will see it will help two ways so this is a simple uh, residency calculator you can say artificial intelligence based solution we have created um, see uh, this this CFM was mainly in FEMA consulting right and they have uh, to define the status like the residency status of a client very frequently so over here I have given the India in and out like when the person has in the last 10 years uh, came to India on various occasions right once they give it we are finding it for 2021 and he has to answer one to four questions and after that uh, the result will be in front of us like over here only one question will do I uh, know before discussing the model I will just show you the flow chart the decision making part you know how much goes into deciding if one is non-resident or resident I was not aware earlier but uh, after creating this solution i come to know about something so if a person is like one thing also is not mentioned over here is uh a person is coming on visit or not on visit this chart is only for not on visit so everything is now encoded into this calculator in kind of artificial intelligence you can say so you know let us only check it for no conditions but he will ask some questions you know and based on the uh, answers your residential status will be defined you can see that this person is non-resident after answering all these questions if you change any any of this yes or no the question will change you know automatically you can see the answer will change also but it will give the right uh, result we have tested it but see uh, how this will help you it will create an automation in your system you can host this excel calculator with your branding on your website and it will bring more client as well you know valuable clients so this is how you can uh, do uh, automated calculator creation based on your used uh, you know basically implementing systems processes and technology to achieve minimum time involvement by ca partners or proprietors in client service rendering all of this is to achieve the automation right okay so when i say uh, the rest of the 20 percent should be given to learning or teaching see as a professional you can be at two stage in your career right just a second okay you can be at two stage in your career either you are in the learning curve so you are learning new things new services and uh, uh, stuff like that or you are already stayed something some place where you start teaching to others you know you impart knowledge so one of these two things you can uh, you should do uh, as a learner you can upgrade your skills to enter new practice area 
and render higher level of services as i told you you know like data analytics uh, advanced excel and stuff uh, creating online presence is a part of you know if you are experienced or expert in this field you can participate in linkedin discussion you can do quora answering to the questions you can write a blog article on your website or if you don't have website you can go to medium.com it's a very uh, good blogging platform you know you can create knowledge sharing videos on youtube on sharing your expertise you can write a book small or big so this is examples you know like uh, now the benefits if you do this ideal time allocation as i told you what will be the benefits so you will be believe, uh, you know you will uh, be relevant in fast changing technology time you will create online presence you will attract new and better professional opportunity as i told you but you know uh, there is no rule like uh, uh, there is no study book rule that if you do this if you attend this conference you will get this if you participate in linkedin you will get this you have to experiment you know you will add some value and uh, the value will be created for you as well you can uh, charge a higher level of fees for the same professional efforts you can start thinking deeply you know you applying your skills at a higher level and you will be able to indulge in newer and better professional opportunities right so this is the uh, you know workflow part of the thing if you are swamped in traditional practice work you can start doing all this workflow improvement to free up your time and indulge in outsourcing practice because everyone has already occupied preoccupied with their work right so that is the reason why i have given you some suggestions now we uh, when we discuss about you know all this technology productivity and stuff many things comes into our mind you know email management getting things done from others files management paperless office many things so these are the examples of better workflow strategies you know like you don't check the emails on live basis see if you wear a cloth you don't wash it as soon as you you know uh, that is to be washed you do it in batch processing right the same goes for emails and whatsapp you don't check it frequently you check it only two or three hours each time right uh so team communication should never happen in emails or whatsapp uh, there can be some applications like slack or something where you can have team communication because see on emails uh, and whatsapp everyone else is also communicating with your team so uh, it will be constantly distracted by the group notifications by other whatsapp messages if you have only slack or some other like microsoft teams your team will be more focused right uh there should uh, no exchange of files uh, it should all be in dropbox uh, you can create a ticketing system you know like here where you can manage client request uh like crm or some ticketing system so you can track what is pending and what is not uh, you can have role based email addresses even if one person is handling everything like uh, all the pain card requests should go to pain address something uh, all the return income tax return should go to one another email gst because see when you start doing a task you know that now i have to do four times this particular task so you can have role based email addresses you can implement project management tools like trello asana where you have all these steps uh, pre written like for a pain card application for income tax returns what steps you have to take on and this can be you know duplicated and uh, 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 filled up when the new project the similar projects comes right uh, this is important information management and uh, i give very much uh, weight on this uh, see currently your informations are spread across various places like you have the handwritten notes you have uh, bookmarks close kar ke lo close kar diyo kani ho ja uh you know information is spread across uh, yeah, like you have stored emails in your gmail or something okay uh, give me a minute to close the door please
okay sorry for the inconvenience okay so I, i was talking about like the information is spread across various places uh, in your system be it your uh, stored emails your bookmarks your handwritten notes some excel files uh, but you can use a tool like evernote or onenote where everything is properly managed uh, with tags notebooks etc it's a vast topic but you can start exploring you know like uh, if i talk about myself my practice nothing no information is uh, you know beyond evernote everything is in evernote so if i have to find anything any information uh, like i have solved one problem with excel macro that will be in the evernote already so again i have to solve it i know it is already in evernote properly filed right so you have to manage your information properly also you should implement a system of doing the task now if i give you one small example like if you create one new file or you download a new file it should be properly named as and when it is created to add some value like you don't if you search for some information you have to open 10 files that if this is the file this is the file or not because it is not properly named when it is downloaded or created so this is you know you do have to have to do the stuffs now only like if you create a new note in evernote you name it properly you take it properly you file it properly then only because see, if you don't do it now you cannot do when you have 6000 files or 5000 notes right so you do it now only so uh, whenever a new productivity tool you implement some features you should consider is it should be cloud based you know now due to covid everyone understand the importance of uh, cloud based tools but uh, you know uh, as a remote worker uh, since 2012 we already have in place all the cloud based tools it should sync to multiple devices like uh, you have evernote in your laptop you can also access it through your mobile phones right so it should sync across mobile devices it should integrate with other apps like dropbox files can be integrated in evernote and vice versa so it should talk with other apps easily right uh, you can add your team members you can share the dropbox folders to your team members you can share your evernote notebook to your team members so team collaboration should be there right it should be uh, adaptable to our need means uh, like uh, for example evernote and dropbox we have a system that if you create a folder in dropbox we create a notebook in evernote so we have this system you know we can design our needs uh, in this uh, productivity tools it can be free of cost or cost effective if you want to upgrade it it should be cost effective right <coughs> so one of the other thing i would to discuss is you know we use uh, this microsoft tools and we never question ourselves because it it is now in our system that these are third party apps even your windows operating system is your third party apps right uh, your browser is your third party apps and now we use all these uh, softwares we we pay we, you know, we pay for these services also those are third party but we never question it uh, when i suggest some tools say for example evernote last pass so you don't think like uh, these are not used by our community it's not that if uh, you know it is required you have to adopt the new technology you cannot think that uh, uh, it is new or it is paid i'm just giving you you know uh, examples of this thing uh, the ica has come up with uh, dcmm that is digital Comp- uh, competency maturity model in 2017 and now have they have the 2.0 version as well where they have given the implementation guide and all of this we have discussed is you know they have recommending in detail so if you want to uh, get ready for you know virtual accounting forms you can implement dcmm 2.0 so friends i understand you have uh, you know quite a, a good amount of questions because these are all new information for you uh but you know remember one thing i will tell you that uh, when you started a uh, ca course as a student you will not like you not assure that uh, <laughs> service tax will not be replaced by gst you go with the flow right so same here um like 
as you don't know all the details that should not prevent you from starting this practice that is what you should keep in mind right uh, when you started ca as a uh, course as a student you don't know what services you are going to provide uh, what fees you are going to charge you know what types of work you are going to do so same here don't you know uh, all these myths and hurdles prevent you from jumping onto this new area that is my motive to uh, you, you to you know uh, go ahead if you have any question and answer you can always uh, you know ask it now or you can contact me on my email or whatsapp i hope i have created enough enthusiasm in you and given you good information on this new field how we do it how you can also do it and that is all for the presentation thank you very much Okay, I'm just seeing the questions. Yes, Jitendra Bhai. If anybody has a question, then they can ask the, by typing the message. Or they can raise the uh, hands. So you can allow the as a speaker. Okay, someone has asked that is it allowed to register on Upwork or such sites? Again, I would recommend you know like uh, see as a uh, I will give you one example in uh, you know indirect terms. If you want to give services in say insurance business or mutual fund business, what you do? <laughs> so you can structure your you know um, corporate entity in such a way that you are if you see someone is someone is conservative and someone is not conservative. You know it's not clarified. But you can plan accordingly. You yeah? okay? Upwork is not accepting accounting profiles nowadays. Solution for that? Yes, sir. Uh, see, uh, if you try to include keywords which are more relevant, more in demand, like I said, data analytics and all those stuff. You know, if you include those automation through QuickBooks and stuff, your profile will be approved, sir. I, I get one message that Upwork is closing out. Uh, I didn't get it. If you can elaborate. Yes. Yes. As I told you, the profile will not be, uh, you know, approved because they have artificial intelligence. If you say I have experience in Tele Miracle and they will say, okay, there are any services required for Tele or Miracle? No. So your profile is rejected. It works like a artificial intelligence type of, you know, no one is manually approving or declining your profile. Hope you understand that. Members are requested to type the question in the question answer session. Because not allow, technology is not allowing to speak uh, as a panelist. Yes. yes. Also, you can you know um, email me or uh, if you have any questions in future. Uh, so, although I have given you the right approach, you know, if you want to uh, beat any new area or any skills, uh, all those regulators, enablers, uh, community forum support websites. If you connect all these, you can enter in any field. You know, when I started in 2012, it was a very new area. You know, I got in inspired by one of the IT company in Rajkot only, which was doing good on Elance at that time. So I just uh, tried to experiment and see if it is working for a chartered accountant or a financial professional, you know. So, uh, but if you have a, that zeal, uh, that right approach, uh, ability to learn, then you can always conquer this field. Although, you know, uh, as Upwork and any other platform, you know, you search it, you will find negative use, positive use, LinkedIn, anything. But you have to see how it is working for others and what they are doing right. If you learn that, 
you will be succeeded you know that is the key to success taking the right approach see everyone say linkedin is uh, not a platform where work uh, will be located you know like uh, you can create a value or you can get clients but that is totally false you know if you have the right approach you can uh, uh, you know do it over there as well yes sir i think uh, there is no more questions coming up okay so there is no question so we will uh, conclude the uh, meeting by uh, i will hello yes sir i request uh, ramesh bhai to take uh, charge of the meeting ramesh so due to, uh, due to technology reason he is not able to connect so i request uh, our branch secretary uh, ashish gadvi to give vote of thanks thank you jitendra bhai thank you jitendra bhai ah uh, thank you jitendra bhai thank you dhawar bhai tumhe je aaj no topic lido out सिंग सर्विसेज बाय सीए એના ઉપર તમે બહુ જ વાસ્ટ માં સમજાવ્યો જેવી રીતે કે સ્કિલ અલાઇનમેન્ટ આર કે વેબિનાર્સ માં બહુ સારો સમજાયો સેલ્સ ફોર્સ હોય સ્વયં હોય ડેટા એનાલિક્સ હોય અથવા અપવર્ક જે અમને નવો જાણવા મળ્યો કે આવો કંઈક પણ છે જે બહુ સારો હતો પછી તમે સક્સેસફુલ સર્વિસ ડિલિવરી સિક્રેટ સમજાવ્યા અને એક્ઝામ્પલ્સ ઓફ અનસ્ટ્રક્ચર્ડ વર્ક ફ્લો નો સમજાયો જેનાથી અમને બહુ સારો ગાઈડન્સ મળ્યો અને તમે આજનો સેમિનાર માં લાભ લેવાથી ओके yeah thank you once again for giving me the opportunity to speak on this topic on your uh, uh, branch webinar thank you again uh, thank see you, you see you later yeah bye bye thank you